spit it out. I may have all day, but you're the one with a job to do. Ooh, I thought you might notice them. That group you're talking about is run by this gal named Meg. I saw him head in about the same time as those other folks at Spruce Knob. If you want to talk to Meg, you gotta get on her good side. And I'm pretty... I thought you'd never ask. First, a peace offering. David had a trophy as a symbol of his leadership. You get that into Meg's hands, it's like passing the torch, right? Next, I'm gonna draw her ass out here with an extra special broadcast. Problem is, I need to access some old memory banks that Dave... He was an emotional guy. I get it. But I need you to find his original program. Which I'm pretty sure he stashed... Yeah, about that. Dave... He thought the others would think he'd gone soft and well... So... You gotta get to David's room, get the trophy, and then find something that'll tell you where that... I ain't saying you'll have to trash the place, but... Easy peasy. Ha! I knew I could count on you! Oh, hey! So... So, the old bands of raiders each have their own... If I'm ever going to... We both... We'll start with my cutthroat. I'm gonna lend you my old syringer, and you're gonna modify it to shoot... Not joking. an eye on you from up here. I can see just about anything with my robot eyes from these viewfinders. And lucky you, since you helped me tap into the emergency broadcast system, you can hear my lovely voice from anywhere. <laughs>
that you've got yourself some karma, it's time to see it in action. There's a mean old Mama Yagwai I like to call. Actually, strike that. I lost track of her a while back, so just make it so there's one less Yagwai to worry about. I don't care which one. If you can't find a Yagwai, find something else that's tough so you can see the karma in action. I know, I know. It sounds crazy to make a beast like that tougher and nastier. But once karma wears off, it'll be as weak as a newborn kitten. That's when you finish it off, <laughs> assuming you survived the initial effects. <laughs> Have fun!
myself some gross meat-covered explosives, but now what? Well, use your imagination! The trapper sure did. Any hungry carnivore is sure to be drawn in by the smell of fresh meat. So this one time Chuck, he was the guy who came up with this crazy idea. He laid out explosive bait along the trail after a raid. Then, when the responders came looking for us with their tracking dogs, well, let's just say the hounds lost their scent. You know, because their heads were blown off. <laughs> Whatever, you get what I'm saying. care what you use your bait on. Just use it to kill some things that would kill and eat you. Let me know how it works for you.
as long as I don't need to find a new assistant. Hey, good on you for killing one of the nastiest creatures out there. I mean, you're fucking nuts for even trying it, but I like that about you. It's probably a good time to teach you that not everyone can be your friend out there. That's the real takeaway from the diehards. Blackwater bandits were known for being sneaky thieves. Let me tell you, they once hit a brotherhood of steel camp. <laughs> Insane, right? They snuck right past the guards and stole guns, ammo, mini nukes, you name it! Right out from under the poor bastards while the rest of them slept. Next thing you know, the knights moved on out with their tails between their legs. And we had a new arsenal. Well, we still have heavily armed super mutants. human
my stomach turns just thinking about this. Then again, I haven't been hungry in a while, so who knows how desperate I'll be when I am and there's no more food to eat. Kinda like the gourmands. We called them that instead of what they really were. Cannibals. I'm not gonna make you eat anyone, but let's go through the exercise anyway. I saw a roaming pack of feral ghouls I want you to hunt down. They're always good for target practice anyway. I'm not saying the gourmands had the right idea. Ugh. But no one can claim they went hungry eating human. Or ex-human flesh. Just, uh, use a toothpick or something before you come back to visit? <laughs> I don't want to catch a whiff of rotting ghoul flesh on your breath. Previously owned loot for sale, mostly blood free. Need some ammo, gems, or spiky bits to stab people with? You may find some here. chicken out on me, are ya? Either way, it's time to report back.
you've learned a bunch of stuff about raider tactics, and I've got to say, they all seemed ridiculous. Really entertaining to watch from here. <laughs> Were they effective? Uh, I guess so. You survived, didn't you? We can talk about your reward when you get here. Good job! But... you? You're back. Why are you looking at me like you want something? Your reward is the knowledge you've gained from me. Congratulations! <laughs> Hell, whatever. You can have some more stuff I got laying around too. I feel like I trust you enough now to let you in on a little secret. My old raider pals left a cache of treasure behind when they all checked out. Double problem. No one trusted each other enough to give anyone... So they split up the key. See, find them all, so check out Blackwater Mine. Pretty sure she...